How does free traffic to your Amazon listing sound? If you want to get ahead of your competition and leverage more of Amazon's latest placements for free visibility, then keep watching this video. In this video, I'll be covering a fresh new way to promote your products on Amazon, get more brand awareness and discoverability, and even show up on your competitors' listings all for free without running any PPC campaigns. I'll be showing you how Amazon sellers get free traffic with Amazon posts. This is like Amazon's version of Instagram that gives shoppers the chance to browse your content on their mobile device and link to your product directly without charging you for a single click. So let's jump into it. Real quick, before we jump into it, if you don't know me, my name is Ian Smith with Evolve Media. We're an Amazon marketing agency that helps sellers boost the conversion rate of their listings using photo and video content. We actually put many of our conversion rate boosting strategies in our free Amazon listing checklist. You can get access to this by going to zonchecklist.com. At Evolve Media, we help sellers rank higher, get more reviews, increase their return on PPC ad spend, bring in new customers through off Amazon marketing strategies, and we even help sellers obtain their Amazon customer data, like their names, mailing addresses, emails, and phone numbers. So if you need help with scaling your Amazon business, then book a free consulting call with me by going to evolvemediaagency.com. So now, let me show you why and how to maximize your reach with free Amazon posts. Okay, so unfortunately, not every seller can take advantage of Amazon posts. You have to be a brand registered seller with an actual store built out. So if you're brand registered, but you don't have a store built out, then get on it. Reach out to me and my team by going to evolvemediaagency.com and let's get your store built out. I mean, you gotta have a store built out if you have at least one product, right? It really just helps with your credibility. And also if they click on that link at the very top of your post that shows your brand name, it's not gonna take them to search results and instead it would take them to your brand store. So even if you didn't care about Amazon posts, you should still get your Amazon store built out. Now for a lot of sellers, they're gonna easily meet those qualifications. They're brand registered, they got a store, but they're still probably not posting an Amazon posts. But they need to get with the times because this is Amazon's new way to take on Instagram style shopping. And basically Amazon could be expanding this a lot bigger in the coming future. So right now is the time to act quickly, be an early bird and get your exposure out there while not many brands are really doing this. I mean, you you don't need to pay for it. It's completely free and the organic reach is very high right now while this is still very brand new. Now, like I mentioned before, this is only for mobile. So only people on the Amazon mobile app scrolling around on Amazon are going to be able to see these posts and even come across these posts. Now, Amazon may change that down the road, but right now in early 2022, that's what's going on. It's only mobile. And basically these posts look very similar to an Instagram post. You know, at the very top of the post, you got the brand picture and then you got the brand name. Then you have an image that is clickable. And when they click on that, then they can link right over to your product page. These posts can show up on your competitors listings and shoppers can actually follow your page and your brand to get updated when you release new content. Each post can contain category tags. So let's just say that a shopper only wanted to shop in yoga pants. They can literally click on a category tag pertaining to yoga pants and they can just browse through all the different yoga pants companies that are actually using Amazon posts at the time. So chances of them getting the business are a lot higher versus is the other yoga pants companies that are not actually leveraging Amazon posts. So I would say this is kind of similar to the whole hashtag strategy. Now, honestly, for me, this seems like a no brainer. Like you can literally hire a VA to have them go in and post on a regular basis. You can get pictures of your newest products. You want to take more lifestyle photos. So you will need to have some images that are like realistic and not just your white background photos. But once these posts actually get posted, they're going to show up in your Amazon store and then shoppers can go to your store and they can browse through all of the different posts that you've put out there. Now, there are a few different places around Amazon that people can run into your posts. Like I mentioned before, it can show up on your competitor's listing as well as your own listing. And where it's gonna show up is it's gonna be right between the customers who bought this item and also bought, and it's gonna be above the customer questions and answers section. So kind of near that video slider area. Also, these posts will show up in the search results, whether somebody searches your brand or one of your competitor's brands, your post will show up when it's relevant. 
And obviously, like I mentioned before, it'll also show up in that whole category feed, you know, kind of like a hashtag where it's like if somebody is searching through yoga pants, then they will see your posts inside that whole search results area when they're just browsing through that category. Now, let me share with you a little bit more insight into how to correctly write copy for these posts, how to take pictures for these posts, and overall, what your strategy should be. So real quick, before I actually say that, I want to just say that Amazon is rolling out more and more video placements, seems like every day. No, but really, on a monthly basis, it seems like there is more placements for video happening. Right now, Amazon posts are just images. But once Amazon allows them to be videos as well, oh man, that's going to really open up the door for a lot more selling opportunities. So like I said, for right now, they're images, and these are mostly lifestyle images. So you may need to invest in getting some product photo shoots done. You may need to hire some influencers to take some lifestyle type of photo shoots, but you need to have these as like real life photos. If you need help with getting some of these photo shoots done, reach out to me and my team by going to evolvemediaagency.com, book a call with me, and we can talk about how to best go about getting these photos taken for you. But when it comes to the copy, you need to be short and concise. This is actually pretty cool because long copy does not win in this game, and it's very easy to write short and concise copy phrases to just go with your post. You also should include hashtags, you should include emojis, and overall just have fun with it. Don't be so like salesy oriented and trying to drive sales, just something casual because you're not trying to be super aggressive in your approach here. Unfortunately, you're not going to be getting any purchase conversion tracking. So you're not going to know if any sales actually happened from your posts, but you will be getting data like impressions, follows, clicks, engagement data, and overall reach. So what I would say is spend a whole month really pushing hard on Amazon posts and look at what your sales do during that monthly time. Don't change anything real big with your PPC spend and kind of consider also the seasons if your product is slightly seasonal. But if you push hard with Amazon posts for a month and you see any kind of uptick in your sales, then you know that those sales probably came from your posts. All right, now hopefully by now you are sold on using Amazon posts. So let me tell you how to actually sign up. Just simply go to posts dot amazon.com. Amazon gives you a lot of insight into what makes a great post and what makes a not so great post. Again, like I mentioned, you got to be brand registered and you got to have a storefront built out. But once you got it all set up and you've signed up and you enrolled in the whole Amazon post thing, then you need to start posting multiple times a day. I mean, go at this 110%, like throw everything into this, get some pictures taken and start posting. I don't think you can actually schedule out posts, but you know, put on your calendar to, you know, go in twice a day or have a VA do it. But definitely start making an effort to push your content through Amazon posts just to see what happens, you know, run a little experiment. And lastly, another thing I'd recommend is make sure that your inventory levels are good because you never know if something goes viral or all of a sudden, you know, you get a ton of visibility and then you're depleted. Okay, you don't want that to happen. Also, I would recommend with the products that you are promoting, put a coupon on your listing. I mean, why not? If you're trying to get some free visibility, those coupons are going to help with your listings conversion rate. Everybody loves a deal, right? So you may not be able to mention coupons and deals and promotions in your copy because it's not so much about salesiness with these posts, but when they go to your listing page and they actually see that you have a coupon and it's a decent coupon that's worth it for them, then they may actually buy your product impulsively. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. I really do hope that you start to invest some time and money and effort into getting some Amazon posts going. Again, if you need help with the content creation aspect or you want to jump on a free consulting call with me, then head over to evolvemediaagency.com. Again, thanks for watching and we will catch you in the next one.